On to the next one. This one is blank. On to the next one. Nubsta with the deck. Had a lot of fun with this Miracle Paladin deck, but it was made during the Paladin reign, so it's a bit out of date. Not solid, but very fun. All right, guys, don't make fun of this deck. It's not supposed to be good. Also, the Imgur link didn't work for me. All right, let me try this again. All right. Paladin. There's a brand already in it for the guy spamming brand. Calm down, buddy. It's okay. All right, Miracle Paladin. We have Blessing of Might, of course, for the Miracle Damage. A Quality Owl Mini Boat. Mustard. Double Mini Bot, Double Mustard. That's a good deck already. I don't think you need any other cards. It's those four. And it's pretty much a complete good deck. Acolyte of Pain. As a one up for the draw on your miracles, of course. Aldors. Slow your opponent down, get close to your miracle, makes sense. Arcane Golems to kill your opponent with the miracle. BGH. Makes sense. Combos with your Blessing of Mites as well for some uh, control. Multi purpose. True Silvers, good card. Consecrate combos with your qualities to clear the board and just a solid card. Kazan, I'm not sure why that's there, but I'll put it there. Uh, refreshment Bender. I guess you're killing your opponent from a lot, so you don't care if they heal a little bit. Blessed Champion, kill your opponent with a combo. Zerdrake, Drake, draw the combo. Oh, yeah, there's stuff wrong with that Drake. I was like, did that always look like that? <laughs> Uh, it's Sludge Belcher. Slow down the game. Emperor Thorsan. Make your combo affordable. Justicar. I guess Justicar helps when you're slowing down the game this much because you hero power a bunch. Lay on hands. Keeps you alive. Tyrion. Tire. Alright. Tyrion's just a solid card. Also has Taunt. Helps you stay alive. I like it. I like it, man. I think this could work. Kazan is the questionable card to me. I feel like our four drop slots could honestly be piloted shredders, because that card's fucking good. And uh, then we could just do like normal ballad and things and win, because most of our early game shell is just normal ballad and stuff to control the board. And if we just tempo out with shredders and stuff, it could be dirty. Let's try it. Miracle without Auctioneer. It's not really Miracle. It's more just like Paladin with a combo finisher. Which is kind of like what Druid is. Druid's a tempo deck that just combo finishes you. So it's totally reasonable to throw that in Paladin. Especially since they have Minibot and Muster. Those cards are good. Why two Auctioneer? I mean, why two Arcane Golem? I don't know. Druid runs double force, double roar worked for them. Probably works for us too. We're going to have a quality Consecrate off the mulligan. That's not terrible. I think more or less we want to be hitting our early game curve though so I'm going to try and full mulligan for mini bots and musters and all that sort of good stuff. muster next turn. Start using the weapon to clean things up. Close to actually getting a mini Bob Monster Shredder, that would have been dirty. 
I mean, our curve's still good. Now I'm gonna swing. We got this piece of in our hand. We may even be using it turn four. If he plays the bear, bear force one with true submarine to it, trade off the mini bot shield, set up Azure Drake in the following Where turn. Okay. Cool. Alright, there we go. Got it in there. Man, is Faceless better though? I don't know. I didn't make the deck, but Blush Champion could be used on random things to hit people in the face. Faceless can't. So, like, if I had, say, something that stuck and I had plus three damage in my hand and Blessed Champion in my hand, and let's say a Belcher stuck, then I could just get the Belcher up to six attack, double it, and just whack him for 12 out of nowhere with the Belcher, which is pretty cute. Faceless can't accomplish that. So, I think there's definitely merits to Blessed Champion that people aren't really looking at. Alright, let's try and clear that. Alright. Not too bad for us. Some sick Aldor value. Follow the rule. Probably want to kill that. Reporting for duty. I mean, we're really close to just killing this guy, though. But I guess our kill turn would be like turn 8 with this right now. So I guess we should just make the trade then. Not be too greedy with it. We trade that guy off, help him out, swipe a little bit instead of trading the other way to preserve a 1 1. But if we go all face there, we get really close to just being able to kill him randomly. I mean, we got Tyrion in our hand too to just extend this game longer. And Tyrion's going to give us a weapon that can really put some face pressure on. I like it. In before double combo, no way, no way. He would need double combo in an innervate, mm. except for only proc once. <laughs> that would be dirty. Time waits for no one. We're at the Alright, combo with the bear up is 20. We could get... We could BGH his guy to try and just play the value game and set up for Tyrion next turn. That's a play. We could use this plus Blessed Champion to go 12, 13, 14, 15. This turn, through of it. 15 does not set up for Arcane Golem to be lethal. So I think I just like the play of just BGH and his guy. I don't think we need this damage anyway. So I think this is good, just control the board, get ready for Tyrion. Play the long game with it, I think is the way we're supposed to do this. Also, we set up lethal on the board, right? 6, 9, 10, 11, and then we have 8 in hand. So he's got to remove quite a bit of the board not to die. We can't silence while pushing through the damage, which kind of sucks, but... Does this work on my opponent's minions? Ah, shit. I should have... Should have did this on his guy, BGH should I forgo making the dude, but then I'm allowed to Arcane Golem, Blessed of Might, and uh, Owl to do, try and do the lethal through. That's what I should have done. That would have been pretty dirty. I missed the 1-1, one -one, but I uh, used my mana a lot more efficiently to be able to use Silence next turn to power through a taunt while Arcane Blasting for 7. Alright, 
so we have 10 damage. 10 damage, not lethal. So since we don't have lethal, I think we need to settle for just playing Tyrion and setting up lethal. So now if this 2-1 lives, we have lethal, or if we get the Ashbringer, we have lethal. A lot of things give us lethal. Oh, I didn't have enough mana to champion BGH. Okay, then it makes sense. That's why I didn't do it, man. <laughs> I tried to find my misplay on myself, and I just couldn't do it, you know? Staying alive. Wait, no, he's not. Left, left, left. I like it, man. I like it. This deck went good. Alright, alright. What I want to do to this deck, I want to make it more like Druid, because I think this deck's a lot like Druid, and it can just crush people by just tempoing out and then curving out and finding your combo at the end of the day. So, I'm going to remove the questionable 4 drops and just put in Shredders so you can just Paladin people to death. You just hit your mini bot Muster Curve, and then they're dead every time. And then, I like the BGH a lot, because you have Synergy with Blessed Champion, you got Synergies with Blessing of Might, and all of that good stuff. I like, um, I want another Belcher, don't I? I want more five drops in general. I think Justicar is probably a bit too slow for what I'm trying to do with it. I think we want to get another five drop in here. I wouldn't mind seeing another Belcher or a Lotheb even. Lotheb's disgusting. If you get Lotheb down and then you just bless a might, bless a champion, that's just 16 out of nowhere. And Lotheb's got a really high chance to stick because they can't use spells to deal with it. So I really like, I really like Lotheb. I think that card's insane. I want to see a Knife Juggler in here for just early game board control and pressure. So I want to see one of these Owls go, because we don't need that many situational cards. And I want to see just some Knife Jugglers thrown in there. Just start killing things, man. Um, let's see what else we can do. I think we don't need two Equalities. I think two Equalities is a little sketchy. We have like way too many combo pieces. I just want to be tempoing out and crushing people on curve. One, two, three, four. Um, I want more fives and more twos. Fives and twos, boys. Fives and twos. Um, and we need another four. I want a Kings somewhere in here because Kings is insane in Paladin and can work with our combo to try and kill people with Arcane Golem and such. More damage is good. I think we want to see one of these Consecrate skill. We want to see a Kings thrown in there. Kind of like how Secret Paladin basically is curved out in the early game. And the Secret Paladin's trying to curve to 6 as efficiently as possible and just kill people. I want to see a boom in here over the Lay on Hands. Kill people, kill people, kill people, kill people. I love killing people. That sounds terrible. But, I think this is how you're supposed to play Hearthstone. Mm, Alright, so we just on curve and then we just find our combo and kill people. We need stronger twos though. What's another two drop that Secret Paladin plays that's really good? It would be Haunted Creeper. Synergies with our Knife Jugglers, our early game control stuff. So let's get rid of the Accolade of Pain, get rid of the Equality, just throw in these guys to try and help clear the board. One, two, three, four. Alright. Uh, Leroy costs too much mana to run with the Blessed Champion, but it could work because you can Leroy Blessed Kings and such. I kind of want to get... We need to get Old Man's in here, man. Old Man's the man. Old Man's a good card. Definitely want at least one. <laughs> I don't really need this Emperor, do I? This doesn't accomplish anything. We can get rid of the Emperor and we can put in an old man. Let's 
So you curve out with paladin stuff, and then uh, and then you just combo him to death. And if things stick on the board, sometimes you just bless a champion and kill him. And things should stick on the board. You are paladin, and you have that paladin nonsense. I like it, man. I like it. Cut your hand and boom and add lever numbs? Nah, man. This is Druid. This is the future of Druid right here. Druid's been the most busted deck since deck one, since day one, and is still a tier one deck since its inception. And this uses the same theme as Druid. You play a bunch of busted minions early on to gain tempo, or in Druid's case, you play them very quickly because your class is very fair. And then you just have a busted finisher at the end that does a lot of damage. I like it. I don't think Emperor is that good. I think Emperor is really slow. I don't know. Our combo can already all be played without Emperor, and I don't think we're ever going to really get the opportunity to... We really want to play it, like, that big before that time. No draw. We have plenty of draw. We got an Azure Drake. How much draw is in Druid? I guess they have double Ancient Allure. I don't know. Can't have too much draw while maintaining tempo. That's the downside of it. So it's more of a balancing thing. You gotta just kind of play around with it and find the exact math that you want. I don't think we want true silver. We have plenty of fours in the deck. I think we just want to go coin haunted creeper into knife juggler and then try and find minions to supplement that. Another Azur instead of Belcher. Think about it, man, but Belcher's pretty good. We may need to cut one of our lower drops to try and find another Belcher in there. Man. Obviously, it's not the same thing as Druid, guys. That's not what I was trying to say. I was trying to say it's a lot like Druid, and Druid's really good, so it's probably going to be really good. Obviously, I know the difference between Paladin and Druid. We could sit here all day and yell at me in chat and say a bunch of words. Like, you could just be like, Druid's green and Paladin's yellow. Like, I get it. It's okay. Thanks for the input on this, but I don't need that much help. I'm not crazy, I promise. Alright. Arcane Golem on curve, get him. I think we're just real fine here. Trade here, I guess, and see what happens. No idea what the secret's gonna be, but we got the Valley Shredder down now. I guess it's Avenge or Competitive Spirit. Most likely gonna be Avenge since that's the one they read two of, you know? We have 4, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage already. <laughs> Way too much damage. Already. Well, I don't really want to proc this Avenge. I guess I could do it this way, proc the Avenge, and then silence that if I wanted to, but I want to be playing Piloted Shredder this turn, so I think I'm just Piloted Shredder in and going phase. I could use the Blessing of Might here if I really wanted to, just to make things trade nicer. Then he just runs that in there, so it doesn't really help my trades any, so I don't really want to do it. Challenge. Well then. Okay, let's do this. Go phase. Because we gotta keep going phase, right? See what air lands. And see if we can get something done here.
So, trade, and we can bless in a might trade if we wanted to. Probably worth, so probably do that first, see what we get. Well, if we're able to beat him with Mysterious Challenge around 6, then we're doing something right. So that's good. This is a good test, you know. Huh. And he landed a noose. Well, he's extending into this Consecrate real good, like. And we have the Consecrate Arcane Golem clear play. <laughs> And hopefully the extra mana doesn't really help him since he's kind of out of steam here and he's got very few cards remaining in his hand, so... That should be the limiting resource, not mana in this case, so that's good. Alright. all this junk. Run this in. Probably just pop the shredder, honestly. I want the two drop out on the field, something that you give me still a little bit of And that's not going to give me very much of but... <laughs> it is a card. Who am I? Not Holy crap, business. the second Mysterious Challenger. Only pulling one secret though. So he's got one secret in his hand, well now he's got both of them. Now he's got the, the Noble Sack Avenge happening. All right, well, to the face. Looking to try and do eight burst eventually, so we're getting kind of close to being able to kill him. Yeah, that one. I think I just want to kind of lock down my board from being consecrated so I can get closer to trying to set up lethal here. I could even Arcane Golem him in the face this turn. I should be able to have something on the board for the Kings to land on. Being able to hit him twice for 8 would be pretty good. I could just silence this though. Make a dude. Might be a little better. We're under Loath of Effects, so we're protected from Consecrate, which is pretty huge here because if he Consecrates here, then he would be able to protect his 6-6, six, six, so... I don't know. We're not completely protected though. He can still do it, and then, uh... Have only one mana to develop, but who knows? Maybe he has nothing to develop anyway, you know. At least, like we made it so if he did it, it was expensive, and he wouldn't be able to like play this shredder, for example. All right. Got a find the cut. That doesn't help us any, really. I think we'd rather just minibot and dude so we have something that can kind of stick, you know? This goes here. This goes here. Got seven. This all is going phase. I could pop this off so that he can have to use his face here. Maybe it gives me an extra damage there. This is going here, he's using his face there, going there. Or he's just going face on me. I think this is probably worth making the trade for. We're looking to find eight damage eventually, so... Eight, nine, ten. Getting close. Taking that one to the face, trading there, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 8, 9, 10, 2 damage off, Tyrion, man. Damn, he found his Tyrion before me, man. Never lucky. Well, we're able to slow down that Tyrion for a long time so we can try and find a way to get through it. If we're able to get through the Tyrion, then uh, this whole combo is going to be coming together pretty soon. Could be dirty. So we just have to find a way through Tyrion. Easy enough, man. Easy enough. Not easy enough. Not easy enough. Alright, we need BGH. BGH, we can cut through it, man. Alright, BGH is still playable with this. Good. Okay, we can cut through it. And then he's got 14 damage, and we have maximum of... I mean, if he leaves up our guy, we can kill him. Because we're looking to try and hit him for 8, right? Man, he kills our guy. This guy's a set of lethal. Seems like a good play by him. Um, yup. Now we only have 8. 
Put four damage off the train. Look guys, he went challenger on six. He had the other challenger after that. They both made full Christmas trees. And he had a Tyrion. And we still almost won. And he oozed our weapon. So, all things considered, everyone that was making fun of me, this has got potential. This has got potential for sure. This has definitely got potential. Alright. So, uh... Those were the changes I would make to it. Obviously, it needs a little bit more tweaking. You gotta figure out how much draw is correct, right? The how much draw is really correct to find your combo consistently enough, and how much combo do we want? We have six pieces involved in this combo. We could probably cut down the combo, maybe down to like one Blessed Champion, one Blessed Might, two Arcane Golems, and then have the Kings be a sometimes complement to the combo. And then we could fit in more mid rangey things and be a little bit well-versed all around. Um, so... Now we could include maybe some draw to go with it in these remaining two cards. Maybe throw in another Azur Drake. Maybe throw in back the Accolade of Pain. It's pretty good in the current meta, and you have Aldors that can complement it. So as you play with it, obviously you kind of need to figure out how much draw you need and to maintain cards in your hand and hold your curve and keep board. But um, just remove the combo and add secrets. People that don't understand the pioneering that is deck building and creating new things, being innovative. Kids that didn't grow up with Legos. That's what we're seeing today in chat, boys. Anyway, moving on to the next deck, Dr. Deck. That is kind of a cool concept. I really like the idea there. All right, we have Warlike Dance.